It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and this week I wanted to talk about taking a break. It's really important that you stay focused on what you're working on and it's harder and harder these days. We have things like shorts on YouTube, like TikTok, like Twitter that have really trained our brains to be very not able to focus on anything. It's hard for me to focus on what I want to say. It's so bad. Um, it really is just an issue where people cannot stay focused on one thing and get something done. They jump around and they jump around and they jump around. And really, all of that jumping around can take a toll on you. It can take a toll on your brain and make you feel more tired and more exhausted. It can take a toll on your body if you're physically moving around to do different things constantly. It can take a toll in so many different ways. And staying focused isn't always easy. But by the same token... Sometimes sitting for too long and working on something for too long can do the same exact thing. It can take a toll on your brain. You can kind of lose track of what you're trying to accomplish. You can actually hurt your body physically by sitting for too long. So it's good to also occasionally take a break, stand up, walk away, go do something else and come back. When I was doing my graduate work in physics and when I was doing, even in my undergraduate school in physics, I was also a police officer at the same time. And... Uh, I would be working on, uh, you know, something that was pretty complex and I just couldn't figure out what was what I was not doing correctly to get what I needed out of the equations or answers or, or solutions to these problems. And a lot of times it just helped me to go out and drive around for a little bit, do a little short, quick patrol, even though I wasn't on duty, just go patrol around and see things for a little bit. And I'd say 95% of the time, just while I was driving, suddenly the solution would just kind of come to me. By just getting away and stepping away and letting my brain think about some of the things for just a little bit, I could go back and then stay focused and work on that problem. Same thing happens to me today. Um, I've been trying to write a book for years now, and I've, I've got almost everything. I just can't come up with an ending, so I've been trying to get back into that. I'm hoping that I'll get it finished. Uh, same thing when I'm programming. I can sit down and program a, a lot for a long time when I have my, my stuff really laid out well, but if I'm trying to think through something or think through a problem or how to solve a problem, it helps me to stop and take a break and stand up and get away. In my regular day job where I deal with constant interruptions and in meetings and once in a while I get to sit down and focus, I still have to remind myself that even though I'm getting to sit down and focus finally, I still need to stop and take a break. And that's where Pomatez comes in. This is an open source, really nice desktop application. It is really well built. I really like the look of it. They've got privacy. They've got your license. They show you how to install it. They've got development information. They've got a Discord if you have questions. And again, uh, I get it that it's easy, but there's other services out there that you can use for free also that are less painful. There are open source services out there that you could use that are less painful. Please start using those things. That's my that's my soapbox for Discord. Okay, we're done with that. Features, they've got a nice list of features, so you can kind of jump down through here and see what all they've got going on, but you can kind of see the interface here, and you can see that this creates a timer. It's a Pomodoro time, timer application. There are thousands of them out there, but I checked this one out. I kind of saw it, I liked it, I thought, wow, this is kind of a nice app. I really kind of like the layout of it. Um, it's also designed to not be like massive on your screen or anything like that, so I really like that. You can make it a very nice sleek design where it's just over on the edge of your screen. It can go behind other things and it'll still remind you like, hey, it's time to stop and take a break. And you can set these things, you know, for whatever you want. It's very customizable, I kind of like that. So there you go, customizable rules, built-in task list, full screen breaks, I mean, just all kinds of really cool features that, that you're going to like out of this thing. And honestly, if you're somebody who tries to sit and focus and you find that time slips away from you, this is a really, really great tool that you can put into your tool belt to help you stay focused on the things that you need to be focused on, but also jump away once in a while and just give yourself a little break. It's really important. It's really important for your mental health, for your physical health. It, 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 you would be surprised at how much of a difference it can make in how you feel every day. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my patrons over at Patreon. Seriously, you guys make this so worth it for me to do these videos every week. I really, truly enjoy it, and I just can't say thank you enough. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe. Let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job by subscribing to the channel. Plus, you'll get notified when I have new videos coming out. And finally, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, give it a like. Just click on that thumbs up. And that way YouTube knows that you like it and they'll pass it along to other people that might enjoy my content as well. 
I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Let's get started. And we'll just paste this in. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys on the, on the mobile devices, just so you can see. So it's sudo space snap space install space pomatez, P-O-M-A-T-E-Z. Now we can just put a dash Y if we don't want it to ask us anything, um, but we can just run it this way. It's going to ask for our super user password, of course. It's going to go out and start checking things and make sure everything's good. It's going to start downloading it and just running through it. It's getting it from the stable channel, which is great. So we're just going to let this thing run. It only takes a few seconds for it to install everything that we need. It's a pretty small application, so it should be pretty quick. And that's it. It's done. I mean, it took like less than 10 seconds. We've got it ready to go. And you can see here, here's the person that made it. All right, we've got Pomatez installed, and here's the initial interface when you first open it up. And it's really pretty clean. So you've got a 25 minute timer. If you click on the play button, it's gonna start counting that down. This would be the amount of time that you're setting aside to go do work, to go focus on what you're trying to accomplish. As this counts down and it gets to the end, you're gonna see that it's gonna have a timer that starts that says time to take a break. So we're gonna take a little break and we'll come back when this gets closer to the finish. Kind of rearrange my windows here so that as it comes to the end, you'll see there it is. It pops up in front of what we're working on and it lets us know, hey, your timer just went off. It's time to take a break. So here you would step away for this time limit that you set for your break for five minutes. And then you would come back and then start the timer again, unless it auto starts on its own, which is also great. Uh, we'll see what this does and we'll come back and see how it kind of looks. While we're taking our break, we'll kind of look at the license here. So it's MIT licensed, which is awesome. It's open source, which is really, really great. Here's the permissions. Commercial use, modification, distribution, and private use. Limitations, no liability, no warranty. That's pretty standard with open source software. So I love that they break down what the license really means these days. That's very, very awesome. You can check out the license text, of course, always below that. But really cool. So when you come back to the main Palmatez page, it's got all of the information you'll ever want. That's the best way to find things is to come here and start looking through the different files. But you'll have the license file. The readme is what you see here on the main GitHub page generally down below it so that you can see what it looks like, how it functions. The reason they're showing you this kind of view is that it has a dark and a light theme. So you can go through there and change that. And we'll do that here in just a minute so you can see that as well. But really some good information here on the main page. The one thing I don't find right now is a donate area. So I hope that they'll add one. Uh, I'll put in a request that they add one so that people can donate if you're interested in, in helping support, you know, financially these kind of projects. I think it's really important and I hate to see projects like this that are really good that don't have a way to donate something to them, whether it's through PayPal or coffee or Patreon or something. I, I love to be able to support this project. I think it's pretty awesome. All right, our break timer is counting down here to the last few seconds. I do want to mention that now that you're seeing how it functions, I do want to show you all of the really cool things you can do to configure it, some of the settings that it has, and a few extra features that I think you might be just not noticing because this is a very clean, simple interface. It just shows you the timer, shows you what you should be doing at this time, and it's got a few things down here to kind of reset what you're doing. So you could fast forward, you could pause, everything. But now this is going to end. Let's see if it just starts our next session. And it does. It just starts the next session, it brings it up and it gets it ready, and you can see it's going to be session two of four, but it doesn't start it until we click the play button, which is really useful. So now that we've got that and you've seen kind of how that works, you can set up as many sessions as you want, but if we go here to config, you kind of see what we're looking at for different timer types. So I'm going to bring this back to the middle. I'll zoom in on it during the, the video so that you guys can kind of see how the interface looks. It's kind of small for, you know, considering the size of the video recording. But down here, this is how I changed the timer so that I could make it a little shorter so we wouldn't have to wait the full 25 minutes. So here we can set this back to whatever we want. We can make this 30 minutes, 25 minutes, kind of whatever you want. If you want a 20 minute segment, you would set this to 15 and then leave this at five. So you'd have 15 minutes of work, five minutes of break. It's kind of up to you to figure out where that magic balance is. I think 25 and five is really good. Um, you could do 50 minutes and 10 minutes, but that gets a little bit long. It just depends on your work and what you're expecting. But yeah, I mean, this is really easy to set up. Now you could have a longer break as well that you schedule in there. So you have your short break, which is five minutes, and then a long break, which is set to 15 minutes. So you may want that longer break to kind of help you remember to step away and go take a little bit longer break halfway through the morning, something like that. And then here's your session round. So remember it showed 
one out of four and then two out of four, that's how you set that number of rounds at four. You can set that to eight, 10, 12, whatever you need to kind of fulfill your day and keep you focused and busy. You can also set up some very special break time so you can set how many minutes you want and you can use those things also. So it's really cool. I like that quite a bit. Pretty, pretty nice, simple config. And you can reset everything to the defaults if you get away from them just by going to here. And whenever you click that, it'll set things back to the defaults, which I already had set. So let's change this to there. And let's change this one up to a really long break. And uh, let's make this one a really long break. And then we'll make that one different. And then I can say, no, I don't like that. And there you go. It jumps right back to the default whenever you click that button. So once you've set your config, you can jump over here to the task list. Um, pretty little, pretty neat little feature, but things that you're trying to focus on during the time that these timers are running. So you can set these kind of in order for the way that you want. So you can create a list. So if I said um, documentation for next video. Now I'm creating a list of things that I need to do. So I can say, look up GitHub readme. And then I can say, look up any extra docs. Start outline and start documenting. So I can just kind of keep going with this just like that. And then when I come back to my timers page, you see I've got this first one that says look up GitHub readme. So while this is running, I would go look up the GitHub, find the readme, go through it. And once I'm done with that part, I can just go here to the actions. So it's got this little three dot, click on the actions button. I can say I'm done with that one or I can stop or, or I can skip this one and come back to it um, or I can delete it. So I can say I'm done with that one. And you see it goes to the next, next item in the task list. So I'm keeping myself on track for the things that I need to do during the times while this is running. Pretty nice little feature. Again, you can go through and just click on done or you can say skip that one and then you can say done. And then we can say done and it's going to go back to the one that we skipped so we can go back and finish that task. So I really like that, that it lets you skip it, come back to it. Maybe it's something where you didn't have time, your internet went down, you don't have access to get to it. Who knows? So you can skip it, go do something else, come back and finish it. And now all my tasks are gone. Now over here on the final page, first he just says, hey, thank you for using this. If you like it, please go give it a star on GitHub. That's awesome, but I would love to donate to him. So I hope that he'll consider putting out a donate page as well. So we can clear this with a little X. Now up here we can say, I want this to be always on top. Well, I don't because this could go behind the windows where I'm looking, but it does pop forward, which I like whenever the timer has come up. So I can just keep working. I'm not constantly looking at the timer, which is something I would definitely do. Um, but if you're the kind of person that does want it on top all the time, you can have it on top. Uh, compact mode. So I don't know how compact that is, but yeah, that's pretty compact. So you can make this really small up in the corner. That's pretty awesome. Actually, I kind of like that. Now, how do I get this back out of compact mode is the question. You can definitely get it to go away. So if you go to compact mode, you've got this little square with kind of this up arrow to the right. You click on that. It comes back out of compact mode. So nice. So you do have a compact mode if you want that. That's cool. Um, full screen break. So basically, I think when that hits, it will black your screen for you while you're on break so that you can't keep working or it'll cover it. At least it's pretty cool. It's a nice little feature. So just be aware you can definitely take advantage of that. The dark theme, which is currently on. So if I change it, you'll see now it's a light theme. So I'm going to go right back to dark theme. That's pretty bright. So do we want the native title bar, which is this one up here or not? So if we turn that off, it's just going to change a little bit how it looks. It should come back up with the new bar and it did. So here's the, the title bar he builds for it. But if you want your native title bar, then you have that option here in the settings. Um, completely up to you if you want native title bar or not. It's it's defaulted on. Now this is version 130. So I'm a little surprised that, that version 161 didn't come down with the snap. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe he hasn't pushed it to the snap store yet, but it looks like it's been out for a few days. So the app image would give us a newer version for sure. So be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, if we turn the native title bar back on, it's going to close. It's going to reopen with the native title bar and it always opens on my other screen, but that's cool. Okay. There we go. Native title bar. Progress animation, which is just on the timer here where it's kind of counting down the time. I like that, so I'm going to leave it on, but you can turn it off if you don't like it. So remember how we stopped our break and the work timer came up but didn't start automatically? You can turn it on so that it does if you want that to happen. 
You can minimize this to the tray. So when you minimize, it doesn't minimize here, but it minimizes over here to your application icon tray. And then the notification types. So none, normal, and extra. So let's try normal. Uh, and let's see what it does. Let's go set ourselves a nice short timer again here. All right, we're at the last few seconds. So I'm going to set this behind the screen and see what we see for notification. All right, it popped up and just did that, but I did get my notification down here in the lower left. So it does do like a regular notification, which is pretty, pretty nice, pretty easy. So there's a lot of different notification options there, which is great. And now it started my break time. We'll go back to the, to the settings here. And so here's your notification type. You drop, you click the little drop down and then it'll go back up when you're done. He's also got some nice little uh, hotkey shortcuts. If you want to go to his official website, he's got a little link right here that'll open it up. If you need to open an issue, he's got a link here where it'll take you right to the GitHub page to open the issue, which is really, really convenient. And then release notes he's got set up right here as well. So you can click on that and see what's going on with the newest releases. So I think that's pretty awesome. I really kind of like that a, a, a lot. And again, you can start on GitHub by clicking on this little guy. So we're going to do that here in just a second. Uh, in fact, we'll go do it right now. Let's go give this thing a star. So we're just going to click on the star right here. There it is. He's got another star. He's already got 3.2 thousand stars, which is awesome. Uh, again, this is such a great little application. I think it's really, really amazing. Uh, let's go over to the issues page here. We'll just kind of see what's out there. So you see a bunch of enhancements and requests out here. That's pretty great. I'm going to open a new one. Uh, this is not a bug report. This is a feature request. So we'll click on that one. All right, guys, we have got everything set up, and that is Pomatez. It is a really cool, really nice little Pomodoro timer application that makes it super easy to get focused and stay focused on what you need to do. It helps you manage your time. Make sure that you're stepping away for those very important breaks. It is so critical that you take a little time away occasionally. Get your eyes refreshed. Get yourself refreshed. Get your drink. Go use the restroom. Go do the things that are just so important to your daily life that you kind of can get so focused that you forget to do. And sometimes you realize you made a big mistake somewhere because you didn't take a minute to stop and think about things. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can come along on the open source journey with us. And I'll talk to you next time. It's your open source advocate and I'm back and I've set up a store with a little bit of merchandise. I love being your open source advocate, but I want you guys to be the open source advocates with me. So if you want to get out there and get some of this stuff, and if you do, let me know what you think of it. Thank you for subscribing.